What's up weirdos? It is a cool cloudy spring morning and the perfect time to plant some thimbleberries and so that's what I'm going to do. These are uh, kind of like raspberries and there are two different types. There are the western thimbleberry which is native to the west coast and then the eastern thimbleberry which is native to the northeast and I think this is the western thimbleberry. I got this uh, from a, a place in Oregon so uh, they shipped it out here and uh, it looks pretty good. Everything is uh, looking healthy on it. So that is good. We're going to go ahead and get this thing planted. I'm going to plant them in my garden, as you can see. I don't want to plant them outside because, uh, well, I don't want anything getting at them. So, they're, they're, I mean, birds, and, birds are still going to get it. But uh, I think if I put one here in the corner and then another one maybe like right around here, that should be pretty good. And, uh, yeah, it needs uh, it needs a little bit of shade. And this part of the garden is shaded in the uh, in the afternoon, so I think that'll be good. Uh, it does need a little bit of sun though, so you you definitely don't want to plant it in full full shade. It can probably survive in full shade, but uh, it's not going to fruit very well. So we're going to go ahead and plant it right here. I think I think it'll get enough sun here. The big thing will be uh, making sure there's enough compost in here so that it's good drainage, because uh, I I have had drainage issues in this garden, so. I'm going to add lots of compost whenever I uh, plant these, and uh, we'll get right to it. All right, so I have my holes dug. The next step is going to be adding some compost in here. And then after that, I'm gonna add wood chips around the perimeter, make sure it's at the height that I want it. And then after that, I'll add a little bit more compost right where the plant is gonna go. All right, so I'm just topping off these beds a little bit. The thing I was reading about thimbleberries is they don't like soggy roots, but they like moist roots. And where I live, it's heavy clay soil, and it really retains moisture just way too much. So I think this will help. I think putting in the compost is the way to go. Now, the one thing I heard is if you put in new compost that's still breaking down, uh, it's not good for the roots. It'll actually make the roots of the plant start to break down and rot. So you want to make sure it's well aged if you can. That's pretty good right there. You can see I have my compost at about the same level as the wood chips. So I'm going to go ahead and plant in that. We'll go ahead and fill this other one. I'm trying to be careful not to push any of the wood chips into the soil. If it's on top of soil, that's fine, but if it's in there, then it's going to contribute to uh, breaking down those roots, and we don't want that. All right, so we should have a nice deep hole here that goes down nice and easy. Beautiful. So we're just going to go ahead and plant our plants right in these holes. Now 
want to make sure that this is the right depth. I think we're going to have to go a little bit deeper. That's a little bit closer. Maybe just a bit more. Make something right about there. That looks pretty good right there. We've got to be careful when we pull this out because it is kind of at an angle. There we go. All right, now you can see the root structure. Looks pretty good. I don't want to break it, but I do want to break it up just a little bit so it's not root bound. There we go. We're just going to go ahead and flop them right in there. That'll be good. We'll go ahead and push the compost down around it. And that should be pretty good drainage right there too. All right, we'll go ahead and plant the other one. This one has roots poking out the bottom. I'm gonna try to save it. Yep. Beautiful. That looks pretty good. Alright, so there you go guys. Planting a thimbleberry is pretty simple, pretty easy. Just make sure that uh, wherever you plant it, that it has good drainage there so that's why i had to amend mine because uh i got clay and it <laughs> is not good for most plants so there you go pretty simple uh i'm very excited to see how these grow so we will check up on them probably at some point later in the year and see if they're still doing well and at that point i'll go ahead and rake some of these um wood chips over top of the soil so it, it helps uh keep some of that moisture in so there you go guys that's it for today. Goodbye.